ITV4 News at 5 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. New hope for thousands of Americans who cannot undergo open heart surgery. Stenosis is the narrowing of the aortic valve. About 200,000 Americans suffer from it. For those considered inoperable, there is now hope. Last month, Queens Medical Center became the first in the state to offer a life-saving procedure. It's a story you'll see first on KITV4 News. Hey, guys. Entertainer and Hawaii resident Jim Neighbors reuniting with the men who have given him a new lease on life. The lively guy, he considers himself the Energizer Bunny, noticed a rapid slowing down over the past two years due to aortic stenosis, the narrowing of the heart valve. You just get very, very weak, and uh, you don't want to do anything, and you're mostly in bed all day. And uh, it's, uh, it's really no way to live. Neighbors was not a candidate for traditional open heart surgery, but he was a candidate for the new procedure, TAVR, transcatheter aortic valve replacement. The procedure resembles angioplasty. A small incision is made in the groin. A catheter is inserted and moved carefully to the valve opening. Attached to it is a balloon and the valve. We stop the heart for just a few seconds, and then we inflate the balloon, and we deploy the valve, put the valve into the patient's original heart valve, displacing it outwards. Then we remove our equipment and the valve works instantaneously. Neighbors was up and walking the very next day and discharged in three days. And since that operation just one week ago, he's already noticed his strength returning and... One of the things I noticed first, that I, uh, my thinking was clearer. That my body was getting blood, you know, and I, it was really different. I'm, uh, you know, I was like, whoa, this is great. And next week, Neighbors turns a very young 82. Queens has performed Tavar six times so far. All six procedures have been a success. The procedure is only being offered at select centers across the United States. Again, this is only for patients who are suffering from aortic stenosis who are not candidates for traditional open-heart surgery.